When multiplying binomials, we're going to use the distributive property. This means that we're going to distribute the, each term from the first parentheses to the second parentheses. So I'm going to be multiplying the x times the y as well as the x times the minus 3. The x times y will give me xy. The x times the minus 3 will give me minus 3x. Now we're also going to be distributing the 2 from the first parentheses to the y and also to the minus 3. So 2 times y gives me 2y and 2 times minus 3 gives me minus 6. Since none of these terms are like terms in that they don't have the exact same variables and the exact same exponents, this would have to be our final answer. Let's take a look at a second problem here. x plus 3 times 2x minus 4. Again, we're going to be distributing each term from the first parentheses to the second parentheses. So x times 2x would give me 2x to the second. And x times minus 4 would give me negative 4x. Now we're ready to distribute the 3 to the 2x as well as to the minus 4. So 3 times 2x would give me 6x. And 3 times negative 4 would give me negative 12. Now we notice in this problem that the two terms in the middle are like terms in that they have the same variable and the same exponent. So we're going to leave our 2x to the second alone. And we're going to combine the minus 4x with the 2x. Minus 4 plus 6 would be positive 2x and minus 12.